Welcome to Let's Talk Mesh News Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to show you the new right-click context menu. So the new right-click context menu is going to provide quick access to a number of commonly used commands that are available for the currently selected entities, and this is going to allow you to perform operations in place when meshing. This saves time, and it's a lot more intuitive than navigating the toolbar and menu system, especially if you're new to the software. So what you can see on the screen is the new right-click context menu. I've right-clicked in the middle of nowhere with nothing selected, and this allows me to quickly apply global attributes and operations to my meshing project. I can change preferences, I can open the topic help, I can open our keyboard shortcuts. You'll notice that some icons have an arrow, and if I hover over those, I'll get another pie, another nested wheel of actions that I can apply. For this case, I can create shapes if I wanted to. But the real power comes when you select entities. So let's go ahead and just select everything in the scene and right click. The first wheel I'm going to get is an opportunity to filter my selection. So I've selected all kinds of entities. I can then go and apply actions to the selected blocks, domains, connectors, or even spacing constraints. So let's go ahead and go to the blocks, and I want to go into the grid solver. So I can go ahead and click on that, and it'll open up the grid solver for that block. I could change some T-Rex attributes in this case if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and change to the domain mask, and let's just select all of our domains and quickly change them to shaded so we can see them a little bit easier. And let's zoom in here and select this connector. And I wanna split this connector into four pieces. So we'll right click on it, type four. I've now split that connector into four pieces, which is pretty handy. Additionally, I wanna select this domain and I wanna examine its area ratio. So let's go ahead and right click on that, go to the full menu and go to examine and click on area ratio. And now I can examine the area ratio very quickly. Now what I'd like to do is get a better sense for what's going on inside of this void where the motor would sit, the base of the motor would sit. So let's select our block and let's just create a cut plane there in that location so I can get a better sense. But you know, the domains are kind of in the way. So let's select those, right click and change their transparency to 80% and deselect. Now I can very clearly see what's happening inside the cavity in this region. So that's the right-click context menu in PointWise, and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.